Stop! Thief! And so, my friends, you have completed the perilous automobile trial and have been awarded the greatest honor in the land, your own driver's licenses. Ooh, that was close. I think I lost them. You lost who? Nobody? Nothing to see here. Did we complete the dangerous trial? Mm, indeed. We have been awarded great symbols of our newfound status. Surely now the citizens of real life will regard us with awe and respect. Actually, reading it again, I don't think that a, a driver's license is all that important. Who's that shadowy cloaked figure by the fireplace? He looks awfully mysterious. I feel almost compelled to talk to him. Not another one. Where did these guys come from? Not a week goes by without someone dressed in a hood and trying to hand out cryptic quests to complete strangers. He wouldn't give his name. He just kept giving me the old mysterious look. I'm going to talk to him. Greetings, friend. I am Eric, a noble knight, and I feel strangely compelled to speak with you. Who might you be? My name is not important. You are adventurers, yes? Indeed we are. Why do you ask? I have an important quest for you. Told you so. A quest, you say? I'm afraid we're quite busy right now. You must take on this quest. It is of the utmost importance. Yes, that's all very well. But we're in the middle of a game. Can't you do it? No, it must be you. But you didn't even know we were adventurers until a moment ago. Uh, what harm can it do to hear him out? I want to hear about this quest. You would really take on a random quest from some nobody in the corner of a bar just because he says so? We've engaged in worse cliches than that. Have you forgotten the search for the Golden MacGuffin? Oh yeah. What was that thing anyway? It was a MacGuffin. Anyway, be quiet. I want to hear this. Sir, you do sound very trustworthy to me. And I am convinced that your quest must be of great importance. Furthermore, I wholeheartedly believe that only we can undertake it. Yes, and so here is your quest. You must... Yes? You must venture into... Speak up! We can't hear you over here. You must venture into the cellar. Uh-huh. Whereupon, you must endeavor to... Endeavor to... You must endeavor to... Slay 15 rats and bring me their pelts. Oh, for goodness sake. Let's get back to our game. Rats? Pelts? Do I look like a ratter? I heard you ate rats, Balar. I do not eat rats. Besides, Malak seems to buy up every rat in town. Yeah, what's that about Malak? Creepy as you are, I can't believe that your diet consists of small, dirty rodents. Are you building a rat colossus? What? No, no, where did you hear that? Well, I found these. Don't be absurd. That isn't even my handwriting. What, what would I need a rat colossus for? The rats are for, um, they're for company. Yes, yes, they're for company. <laughs> and snacks. And creepy experiments. Oh, D, I forgot to mention. There was a group of guardsmen asking after you at the bar a moment ago. Shh! I'm not here. Sir, I am a noble knight. Why need I slay mere vermin? Because then you may receive my second quest. What? You have a second quest which you will only give to someone who provides you with 15 rat pelts? That makes no sense. The pelts will prove your worth. My worth has been proven many times, my mysterious friend. My comrades and I slew the great tutting bilge beast of the Swamp of Utter Desertedness. We recovered the shiny amulet of the Wicker King. We explored the perplexing dungeons of chaotic exasperation. Even so, I must have these red pelts before I can give you your second quest. And what is this second quest? The second quest is... 
Yes. You must travel to the nearby woods. Yes. And you must... Yes. Slay 20 badgers and bring me their pelts. I'm going back to my game. I think he was a bit simple. What's going on? Malak was just going to tell us what he does with all the rats. This should be interesting. <laughs> Let us continue with our game. Duncan, what can we do with our new driver's licenses? Let's see. Um... Mm. Ah, I see. Yes. It seems that it enables you to, um, drive. That's disappointing. No, no. That's a good thing. Look, now you don't have to take the subway every time you need to go somewhere. Oh, yeah. I do hate the subway. Guys, we can drive everywhere. Hmm, that's a really good point, Dee. Well, thank goodness. The subway is dirty and inefficient. Who's, who's going to operate this contraption? I shall drive. Now then, before you can begin your first journey in the automobile, you must undertake the ceremony of the shotgun. Shotgun? Do we have to shoot somebody? Uh, no, no. It, it says here, in the event that more than one passenger wishes to travel in the automobile, they must undergo the ceremony of the shotgun. This consists of a simple contest. I like contests. Only because you cheat. Do not. You do, every time. You're a little cheater. Now, 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 my friends. The contest is simple. All you have to do is shout, shotgun. The first to shout it... Now! Shotgun! Right, well, I think that was D. She stood on my foot. Oh, and mine. Mm, well, that's allowed under the rules. It says here that anything goes. You must sit in the front with Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go? Where are we going? You must meet the wizened old crone at the dread Soup Ma Arquette. Will these lights ever change? You must roll again. This is ridiculous! Finally! The lights turn green. You may proceed. You drive into the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and what's all that commotion? Well, it turns out that mysterious stranger just awarded that adventuring type over there a really nice magic sword and a pair of levitation boots, in exchange for collecting 20 lampweed petals from the field outside. Hmm, mm, interesting. I could really do with a magic sword. Now then, uh, adventurers, uh, you approach the wizened old crone outside the dread Soup Ma Arquette. She has a quest for you. What is our noble quest, old crone? You must enter the dread Soup Ma Arquette and return with 12 cans of chopped tomatoes. Excellent! Let's go! Onward! Rats. <laughs>